can you teach a guy like me how to make all those cool moves? Like judo and kung fu. What's up makers? Welcome back to another episode of You Make It Monday. This month we'll be working on making a side-scrolling type game similar to Super Mario World using p5.play.js. But we'll be using Sebastian and Ibis as our main character. It's my alma mater, y'all. And as you should know, it's always great to be a Miami Hurricane. So let's dive right in. P5.js, I'm gonna go to the website here, p5.js.org, is a JavaScript library that was created to make learning coding more accessible for artists, designers, educators, and just general beginners. P5.play uh, is a library that works hand in hand. So if we go here to libraries, we'll see p5.play. Works hand in hand with p5 to provide sprites, animations, inputs, and collision functions for games and game-like applications. We'll also be using uh, Scene Manager, which will help us create game scenes to develop our game. What we'll need to do first is get our playground set up. Uh, so here at P5.js, we'll need to download uh, P5. So I think it's here, start. Yeah, download file, setup. So if we go, huh? no? Okay, P5.js complete. So if we go here, download the complete package. I already have it, so I'm not necessarily gonna download it. And we're also going to need P5 dot play so this one here so you can download it right here and then uh, scene manager which is going to take you to a github repository so uh, this repository just download the whole repository and you should be good as gold right so now I've created a directory ep4 for our basically a folder on my desktop for to store all my things in there. This over, so I have a libraries folder, and then I'm gonna have an assets folder. That's gonna be all the audio and graphics within the game. I'll put the link below, but um, you can go here to my repository on GitHub um, and find everything. So now with all your JavaScript files saved along with your assets, let's navigate to Sublime Text and open up our game project. So if we go here, file, open, and everything is on my desktop uh, in that EP4 directory. EP4 stands for episode four. Um, let's go ahead and open that. All right, so we have our game project open. All right, now we're ready to start coding. If we were to look in the P5 example folder um, in the index uh, dot HTML, that's there. Uh, the page, that page links to the p5.js library. So um, let's do our doc type. So this is basic um, HTML. You, you don't necessarily need to know this to create the game. Oh, come on. Capital doc type HTML, right, and then HTML, I'm going to save this right now so it knows that this is an actual HTML file, so if I go set a file, save as, I'm going to call this index.html, and then I'm going to actually navigate to my directory, 
my HTML. If I save it, now it knows that it's a HTML file, HTML, so I get all of that, so I don't have to write it out. Uh, let's call this Sebastian's World. Since we're not gonna be using Mario, we're gonna be using Sebastian. Right, so that's our title, and then we need our scripts. So that link that I was just talking about, I go script, and it's a JavaScript type, and then in here, our source is libraries, backslash p5, we're gonna use the minimal one because it's just easier All right so we have that and then um, we also gonna have to link our p5.play.js and then our screen manager right so script could have just copied that here let's just copy this copy Base, and then this is going to be our p5 play dot play js and under that paste this one is going to be our c manager so these are all the libraries that we just downloaded so they're all here in our libraries so there's a lot more but we're just going to use those for right now Right, so go ahead and command S on your Mac to save. Let's just test this out by putting a heading one, I mean, header one, hello, Sebastian's world, right? So if we open this now, what are we gonna see? Hello Sebastian World, yes, it's working. Subscribe to the channel, uh, follow me on Instagram at you make underscore it, um, and support me at ko-fi.com uh, backslash you make it, uh, coffee gets all the creative juices running so you can support me by you know a little donation for uh, my coffee funds have a great day and see you next monday